Unlike most music groups in Kenya, Sauti Sol has gone against the grain, from meeting up in high school to what is today's arguably Kenya's most iconic band. CNBC Africa caught up with them on their musical journey. <laughs> Zawadi nono kutoka mbinguni Nakuwa zama baby Nakuwa zama baby Nikikuwa za usiku silali The quartet's love for music was brewed during their time in Nairobi's Upper Hill High School. Through to college, they stuck together on a shared dream to be one of Africa's leading boy band. It was bittersweet. If well, now when you th when when I look back, of course, then it was amazing because your dreams are starting to bear fruit or coming to fruition, if you can say that. So, I mean, it, at that time there was the school pressure, there was the you know parents pressure. Your parents are getting pressured by their friends, like what are your kids doing? You know, um, I mean, other kids are going to university and going to work. I mean, and getting jobs and your kids have decided to become musicians. We used to write music on the streets, eat fries just around the corner, take a girl out, like you're in campus, you, you, you have a gig, a, a very small gig that you invite this girl over. That was a time where you would experience that kind of uh, tender, intimate, young love, and it was very easy to write because you, you'd actually experience what most people in this country, or rather in Africa, experience, and you'd be able to translate that into writing. They broke into the competitive music scene with their first album in 2008, dubbed Mwanzo. We, start, we did our first album, started going on tours. Traveling has really helped us a lot, it has opened up our eyes, and we've gotten to see that music is actually a really amazing thing to do because it influences so many things in society and you know you're a figure and many people look up to you and it depends on what you do with that power so you know coming you know having learned all that and um, playing out there and realizing you know first of all we have to make it work here years later they have gone to bag several awards within Africa and across the globe attracting corporate endorsements in the same breath. However, they are yet to lock down a potential investor. Getting investors into the music business is quite hard. So we had to invest in ourselves from the beginning. So, you know, we have a whole team behind us that we have hired that are under payroll. We have employees. So invest back into the business as Saudi so. We have gotten some, um, um, let me call them endorsements really. A few endorsements, but not 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 so much in Kenya. But then it's growing. When we go to Nigeria, when we go to Uganda, when we go to Tanzania, we see artists are supported by all kinds of money. Artists are supported by political money. Artists are supported by corporate money. Artists are supported by drug money. Artists are supported by oil money. <laughs> artists are just supported, and it's a cultural thing that we don't have here in Kenya. So, for example, all the money that the soul makes is pumped back into our business, and that's the reason why, to date, we are able to like maintain a certain level of credibility exactly. but it's getting to a point where for us to be able to represent Kenya on a larger scale we need to have corporate endorsement the music scene in the continent is ever-changing popular acts today could be yesterday's news in a heartbeat but the group has found a way to stay relevant in the music industry we don't look for sound we don't look to 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 say that Saudi soul has this kind of sound that oh my god it's gonna be so big it's gonna take over Nigeria and SA, no. Saudi Soul believes in good music. We sing from the heart. And we've been able to manage that through just trying different sounds and incorporating Saudi Soul in it, or in them rather, rather than taking other sounds and trying to fit into those sounds. Defying the adage that music bands do not last, the group has kept things going through a friendship that goes beyond their stage act. Objective bands stay together for long because they have a common foundation of friendship and us guys are good friends. So I, I want to refuse that statement that says bands don't stay together for long because I think bands stay together for years. And I think we have the capability within ourselves to stay together for a much longer period. 
But the successes of Saudi Soul have not been without challenges and struggle. The first challenge has been investment. You know, it's a growing business. We were just playing guitar in the park, singing. And we had needs. We had to pay for rent, so we had to, to invest back. We played gigs. We had to pay ourselves very little money so that we can invest back, so that we can buy our first car, buy our first van for the company. That has always been the problem in terms that people don't see value in art in this country. When it began, nobody wanted to record us even. I don't know if people know about this. We went to studios all around uh, Nairobi and we had, that was our biggest challenge then. Nobody wanted to record us because they said our sound is different or they don't understand it, you know. So eventually got someone to take us into studio and we did our first album. And yeah, it became successful and then now everybody was jumping, you know, into the bandwagon. In their latest quest to conquer the continent, the group has launched their Live and Die in Africa album, which they hope will endear them to the rest of the continent, who are yet to be converted into their legions of fans. Live and Die in Africa is about telling the African story. Live and Die in Africa is about creating a new generation of conscious, of epic thinkers who think for this continent in the best way possible. You might be in London, getting an education there, but how you invest back in Africa in cash, kind, or brain, that's Live and Die in Africa. That's what it's about. It's about creating a solution-based generation. People who are not here to like wallow about problems and poverty and all these things. It's young people who are about solutions. 